Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about active transport. In order to stay alive, cells need to move objects into and out. Sometimes, the objects either need to go up the concentration gradient or are too large to pass through the membrane. In these instances, active transportation is used. Active transportation requires energy because moving objects from low concentration to high or up the concentration gradient or larger objects into and out require energy. In this video I will discuss three types pumps or channels, endocytosis, and exocytosis. A pump or channel such as a carrier protein moves substances up the concentration gradient or from a low concentration to a high concentration. A common example is the sodium potassium pump. The sodium potassium pump moves three sodiums for every two potassium ions into the cell. The cell uses ATP as energy and the channel changes its shape and allows the sodium and potassium to move into and out of the cell. Another example of active transportation is endocytosis. The cell brings in larger objects into the cell by engulfing the object. And finally, during exocytosis, the cell expels an object out of the cell. For example, this neuron uses exocytosis to expel the neurotransmitters that are enclosed in a vesicle. Again, this requires energy. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science.